A South Korean baby boy born 15 weeks early and weighing about a tenth the average weight of a healthy newborn has beaten all the odds and is now out of hospital after a staggering 153 days in the ICU. He's finally able to go home with his family. Jang Taehyun with this report. Konu, a baby as small as a palm, was born in April, weighing only 288 grams. His mother was diagnosed with intrauterine growth retardation, meaning the baby can't properly grow in the womb. But still, the mother never gave up on the baby. She came all the way up to Seoul Asan Medical Center from Haman, Gyeongsangnam-do province. After just 24 weeks and 6 days in the womb, Konu was delivered by C-section 15 weeks early. Extremely premature babies have a less than 1% chance of survival. It's hard to inject needles into such a small baby, and he even had cardiac arrest one month after he was born. For five months, his parents made a 10-hour round trip back and forth between Haman and Seoul. The only thing I can give is breast milk, and I'm still happy for it. My husband must be tired after going and returning on the same day. It's rare to see an ultra-premature baby under 400 grams survive. But after 153 days in neonatal intensive care, Konu is finally going home. He's now 46 weeks old and over 2 kilograms. As you can see, he wants to eat more and is dexterous. Konu is South Korea's smallest baby and the world's 32nd smallest. The parents and medical staff saved him and gave hope for other premature babies. Chang Taehyun, Arirang News.